in this video we're going to introduce uh, what is called the polar um, or the trigonometric uh, um, representation uh, of a complex number or the polar form um, so we've already seen that uh, if we've got a complex number z equals x plus i y then this corresponds to the point x y on the arcant diagram and so in fact we can plot it as uh, follows so got the real axis this side and the imaginary axis and so our complex number is going to plot as follows so this distance this side is x and this distance is y so this is the point x y or uh, if we express it in complex form x plus i y okay um also we have uh, established uh in the video uh, on the modulus and the argument of the complex number z so there we have established that the undirected distance from the origin to the point x y is called the modulus uh, of z uh, denoted r or mod z like that we've also established that uh, this angle here is denoted theta and that one is the argument of z now um so this is a right angle triangle now if you remember your sokatoa uh, then the you're going to recall that the formula that connects y theta and r is the sine formula namely sine theta is equal to y over r now from here this implies that if we make y the subject of the formula then y is equal to r sine theta and then a formula connecting x theta and r is the cosine formula cosine theta is x over r so if we make x the subject of the formula here then x is equal to r cosine theta so what this is saying is that uh, this number here y we can write as r sine theta this number here we can write as r cosine theta so um going back to this complex number here uh, this is what we can do um, so thus um, so z equals x plus i y we can um, rewrite in terms of r and theta so um, from here you can recall see that x is r cos theta so in the place of x we're going to plug in r cosine theta then y is uh, r sine theta so we're going to write i r sine theta at this point we can see that r is common so we factor out r and uh, so this thing is going to look like this okay so z can be written um, in this form x plus i y or z can be written in this form um, the first form this one here is called the rectangular form 
because it's based on the rectangular coordinate system. The second form, this one here, is called the polar form or trigonometric form because it's based on the um, this coordinate system here is called the polar coordinate uh, system. So this form is called the polar form. Now the polar form, um, we can write it uh, in a uh, shortened uh, version as follows. Uh, so we can write this as R C I S theta. Okay. We can write it as R C I S theta where the C is from the cosine here. The I S is from here. So the I is just the the unit imaginary number s is the first letter of the um, word sign so this is the abridged version of this one so r c i s theta is r cosine theta plus i sine theta and so that is your polar form okay so we have uh, the rectangular form we have the polar form um, in uh, the um, next video, two videos, we're going to see how to move between these two forms. So you need to be able, given a number in rectangular form, you need to be able to uh, express it in polar form. And given a number in polar form, complex number in polar form, you need to be able to express it in rectangular form otherwise thank you for um, coming to our channel watching this video um, and uh, we hope this is useful please do not forget to subscribe and uh, like the video and if you've got any questions you can post them in the comment section otherwise uh, talk to you in the next video where we'll be talking about how to convert from rectangular to polar